welcome. Thanks for stopping by the Sister Cousins Lifestyle Channel. My name is Sandy and in today's video we are headed to the mall and we're going to the mall to go to Anthropology in search of home decor. Let's go. Now in this video, we will be visiting two anthropology stores. The first one is located in uh, the Somerset Mall, located in Troy, Michigan. Now when you think about anthropology, you may think about apparel like clothing, uh, shoes, uh, jewelry, things like that. And they have that, but they also have home decor, they have furniture, they have a lot of things, um, entertainment items, all kinds of things. They actually consider themselves to be a full service lifestyle store. So they sell a little bit of everything. On this visit, I noticed they had a lot of coffee table books and a lot of topics. They had a lot of uh, cookbooks, uh, coffee recipe books, drink recipe books. They had travel books. They had all types of really, really nice coffee table books is what I call them. And a lot of nice dinnerware, especially for the spring, summertime or whatever. And I guess they're probably selling out of this to bring in their items for the fall. We are going to see that they've started to bring in a lot of the fall items as it relates to their scents. They have really, really good candles. That's why I normally come in here for. They have a lot of novelty like items as well. I like to look at like the little coffee spoons and just little things like that. I just love little um, dainty little things like that. And look at this little salt and pepper shaker. Is that not the cutest thing ever? And let's check out these coffee spoons. Those are really nice as well with the little leaves on them. I really like things like that. And they have really nice glassware, stemware as well to choose from. And I like that as well. Now, some of them are glass and some of them are the melamine. So perfect for outdoor entertaining and things like that. Anthropology really didn't get on my radar for home decor until like a couple years ago when they had that uh, viral mirror that came out that just like became very, very popular and there were a lot of dupes for them all around. But that's when I first started paying attention to Anthropology's um, home decor. And then the next year they came out with these uh, planters or vases that became very, very popular as well. So they are definitely in the home decor space game. I really like that too because sometimes I like to just have options for places to go to find little unique pieces, you know, rather than your typical home goods and, um, you know, TJ Maxx, those types of places. So it's really nice to be able to come in a new place and check it out. Now, in addition to the recipe books that they have, they also have some travel books, which are really nice as well. So um, that was something new that I found out today on this visit. Um, but they had quite a few books at this particular location. What they did not have at this location was furniture. So unfortunately, we won't be seeing any of their furniture. But if you check out anthropology.com, you will be able to see their full line. They have some really, really nice home decor. And especially if you are into that boho style, because that's what they are. They do a lot of bright colors and patterns and prints and really fun stuff. So take a look at it. I love these mugs here. I love these trays as well. I've seen those at Home Goods. They're kind of like a stone, kind of like a organic shape to them. And then they have the gold around the edges. Really, really nice. And then these bistro mugs. I have been looking at these now for probably a year or so and just never have bought one. I think they're about $12 a piece, but I just think they're so, so cute with the little mosaic tile on them. And then here's another coffee table book for dinner parties. So lots of different ideas um, that they have in their books. And like I said, their uh, stemware is really, really nice. I love their stemware. And they have some pretty decent sales. Now, one thing about anthropology, when they have like their 
season end sales or whatever, they move the items to a back portion of the store, or at least in these stores that I'm visiting today. That's what they did. So be sure if you go into an anthropology store and you're looking for the sales, ask them specifically where they put them. Because in this one store I went in, they actually had it in the back. It looked like a storage room or something. It was quite odd, but they had a lot of stuff back there. So definitely was worth going in there to see what they had. Also has some uh, faux greenery too that's really pretty I wasn't able to price any because they tended to have them up kind of high in the store or whatever so I didn't go through the trouble but they do have some nice looking um, plants too in addition to their planters I love that mink of these I love it and in addition to their extensive candle selection they also have candle holders um, that are very unique in shape and everything. Um, some of them are very, very different um, in glass and plastic, whatever you may be looking for. They have nice little trays, two accent trays for your home, for your decor pieces, and also some uh, diffusers as well. And their things smell really, really good. fell in love with this candle it smelled good i love the packaging you know i just love some packaging but it was just a little bit pricey now one thing that i can say about the candles that i have purchased from anthropology is they have really really good burn times so as it relates to your you know what you get for your money you do get the value for your money but that was just a little bit too too pricey for me these candle holders here i have literally seen them everywhere from aldi this year home goods ross everybody has those candle holders i love them but they are just everywhere i really like the way that they have this candle position in that base with the river stones below it and um, it's just so cozy i think i'll probably try to recreate that in my home during the fall season i really like that I love a really good tea towel or dish towel and they have a lot of really really nice colorful uh, ones with different types of patterns are on on there so if you're into something like that these are really pretty like to put on your oven door or your dishwasher door or whatever I just think they're really pretty and colorful I especially like this one with this tiger isn't he cute This is my favorite time to come in anthropology because the fall candles come out and they always have some nice ones. They never disappoint. So if you're looking for a nice statement candle for the fall season shaped like a pumpkin or whatever you might like, they have a lot of them to choose from. So you might want to check them out if that's something that you're into. They have a lot of nice ones. And like I said, you get your value for your money because they have a really good throw to them and they have a good burn time. this little snail candle is he not the cutest thing i love him so cute i love the packaging on candles i've said this a lot and i actually bought a candle set like over a year ago and i said i was going to start repurposing um, my candle containers and making my own candles i have yet to do that that candle holder i mean a candle set that i bought is still sitting there closed <laughs> So I need to get busy because I have saved a lot of my candle um, containers for that purpose. This little snuffer here is cute too. I couldn't figure out what kind of animal he was, but he was cute. I 
also like these little um, lamps that they had. Super, super cute as well. That would be nice like on a countertop that's kind of, you know, dark and doesn't get a lot of light to kind of brighten that space up. They have a lot of those out now that you charge with the USB port. So this is a different kind of spin on that. But yeah, this is a really nice place. They have a lot of good, good, good things. So now we're going into our second store. You know, I told you we were going to two anthropology stores. So now we have traveled and we are at the store in Charlotte, North Carolina. The first thing that caught my eye was this leaf candle. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Couldn't get it because it was too pricey. But um, yeah, I really, really like that. That's just the kind of thing that I like. A nice little statement candle. That just really makes me happy. If I didn't have anything else on a table but a, a nice statement candle, that would be enough for me. I just love it. And they have a lot of the same thing that we saw in the other store. A lot of the coffee table books. Um, they have some greenery as well. This store used to have furniture, but they don't have the furniture in the store any longer. Um, this little pomegranate um, bottle opener. I thought it was some vase filler at first, so I picked it up. But those are bottle openers, so I thought that was kind of interesting. I liked it better as vase filler, but yeah, <laughs> that's what it is. Um, but yeah, I'm seeing a lot of the same things that I saw in the other store but I'm also seeing you know some additional things in here and I will say that the clearance section in this store was a lot more extensive they had a lot more to choose from I, I saw these um, shakers in the other store I really like them they're kind of mid-century modern-ish or whatever but I just think they're so so cute that's a style that I'm just really enjoying this season I really like these candle holders. I didn't care for the color of them that much. Um, that's just not a color that I gravitate to, but the style of this candle holder just caught my attention. And when I tell you this thing was heavy, isn't that nice? That is really, really a nice substantial piece. If you have been watching my channel, you know I like to go to different places, window shopping for home decor and furnishings and things like that. I just enjoy going to places and seeing different options. Um, if that's something that you enjoy as well and you're not currently subscribed to my channel, won't you consider hitting that subscribe button today? It does not cost you a dime. Um, also hit that post notification bell. That way you can be notified each time I upload videos. I do a lot of shop with me um, videos at various places you just never know where we might end up anywhere from a thrift store to a high-end store we go to them all <laughs> and if that's something that you like definitely hit that subscribe button and to all my family members who come along with me no matter where I'm going thank you so so much I appreciate you so so much I thank you all for shopping with me today and I hope to see you all over here on my next one bye bye